Thanks so much, Matt, here with Alex Holderness and John Bourne, co-founders of the company that bears your name. How did this partnership come together? John and I met in business school, so we were buddies up in the MBA program at Yale, and we went to Yale in part because we got a really good golf course up there, so we were playing a lot of golf, maybe a little more than we should have, and we kept talking about golf shirts and the way we, we were kind of looking for something we couldn't find in the pro shops we were going into, and this was back in 2010, 2011, so it was a while ago, and the fits were a little bit different, and we were frustrated, so we decided we were going to go give it a shot and do something ourselves, which for us meant a shirt with a better collar, more structure, a little bit more polished, premium look, and a more tailored fit, something a little more modern. Back then, golf shirts were still pretty baggy and blousey, and we didn't like that, so that's how the brand started. And John, how has the brand evolved over the years? Uh, slow and steady growth is the name of the game. Um, we have evolved the product line, um, and that's been really nice. When we first started uh, at this show, we were in a little 10 by 10 booth, and we struggled to fill that with what we had uh, on offer. But now we've, we can pretty much dress a guy head to toe um, on the golf course, uh, off the golf course, cheeky range session, whatever it is. Um, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to stay true to our original principles, classic style with a more uh, tailored fit, um, some novel design details that have meaningful performance uh, characteristics, the collar that actually stands up in the shirt. and. Uh, things of that nature. So it's it's more of the same. And as you continue to grow and evolve, what does the future sort of look like for you two? For us, it's a continued focus on golf. We get the question a lot now, kind of where are we going to go with the brand from here? And we want to stay core to golf. You know, it's, uh, it's where we started as a brand. It's what we love. It's what we know. And so we're going to continue working with golf facilities around the country and a few more around the world. So we've got our sights on some international growth. Uh, but really just trying to dress guys for the golf lifestyle and do the best job of that that we can. And speaking of golf, this year the show has just been booming, just getting everyone back together again. It's got a whole sort of different vibe than it has the last few years due to COVID. What has sort of been your impressions of the show this year? Yeah, well, you said it. It's been a great show. Um, I think the energy is back. I think we've been hearing about a lot of interesting new um, things happening on equipment, new golf courses being designed, renovated, restored. Um, certainly on the apparel side, we're excited about what we're bringing. Um, and it's it's a great show. I think last year was a little bit of a down year. We were here, you know, as a matter of principle, as a golf brand, we were going to be at the industry show to support our professionals and the people who are our customers. But... Um, but a lot of others weren't, and, and this year feels like everyone's back and, the, and the, the music's playing, so let's dance. Yeah. Yeah, there's lots of dancing going on here for sure. I appreciate you two spending some time with us. Thank you so much. Good luck. Uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Appreciate All right. It. Thanks, guys. Back to you.